Hello boys and girls, sports fans, Den here. This time I'm in San Francisco. I'm in the offices of a startup called Talia, which is Hindi for towel. Who the hell thought that name up? Anyway, SAP shop, SAP developer, and implementer of specialist solutions in the payment space, right? Bill payment space. That's right, invoice and payment automation. Okay, and this is Joe Highland, and what do you do? Uh, I run marketing for Talia. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me the story. Where, where have you come from? Why should we be listening? Uh, yeah, Talia does something uh, very simple. We make big businesses running SAP more profitable by automating the discount capture for their supply base. Okay, in simple person's terms, that means that if I send you a bill and you run an SAP system with your mm -hmm. stuff attached to it, um, you can determine what? What can you determine at that point? We can help the invoice get approved faster, and right. let's, for argument's sake, say it's net 60 payment terms. Invoice gets approved on day five, mm -hmm. rather than that buying organization, you in this case, sitting on the invoice for 55 days, earning paltry returns on that, on that money. Why not pay it early mm -hmm. if your supplier is hungry for cash? If right. they're hungry for cash, uh, they're willing to accept the discount, we can automate that. And the moment the invoice is approved, the supplier is notified that they're eligible for an early payment. Looking around the offices, it, it, this looks like a, what I would call a typical uh, Bay Area startup, right? It's yeah. the, a lot of young people here. Yeah. Um, do some of these people live here, Frank? <laughs> we, have, we have a well-stocked kitchen, as you right, say. Right, 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 right. And you wouldn't normally associate that with a company that develops purely for SAP, right? Yeah. So, so how does that work? Uh, it's interesting, uh, we were just out at SAP's Innovation Day. Um, with our solution, mm -hmm. we're just trying to challenge the status quo. Mm -hmm. um, companies have been extending out payment terms uh, for decades, and maybe the interest rate environment supported that. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Okay. Uh, and you know, a, a large enterprise, their most critical asset is their supply chain, their suppliers. So why not have a solution that gets you better returns on your money, mm. better than having the money sit in a money market account right. or a, a T-bill account, or kind of earning paltry returns, mm. uh, and also have your suppliers uh, happier, having access to money when they need it. What is the technology component here, and how yeah. does that operate? Yeah, the technology component is that we, over the years, collected the transactions between suppliers, thousands of suppliers, mm. and their buyers. Right. Billions of records, payments, purchase orders, goods receipts, disputes, we know all that of the supplier relationship and the buyer relationship. And we take that in order to assess the risk of a certain transaction. So if the supplier says, for this invoice of $100,000 that I sent to pg e a couple of weeks ago, I want to be paid early, we know what the risk is, that this invoice is actually a valid invoice and gets paid on time by pg e mm -hmm. And then depending on that risk, we bring in, that was the technology component, so we use HANA for that to right. crunch those data. Right. And uh, depending on that risk then, um, we bring a third party in that provides the funds to that supplier. Yeah. Why is HANA important in this context? Well, I mean, many records that we collected. So we have large buying organizations, again, the, the John Deere's and Coca-Cola's, they have millions of invoices, mm. millions of purchase mm. orders, and uh, thousands of suppliers. Uh, so it's big data that we have here. And uh, we want to make that decision if a supplier is, well, if we can fund him or if it's worth funding him, we want to make that in a split second, because if it takes us 10 minutes or 20 minutes, he's gone. So you, you run it in Amazon, do you? Right now we do, yeah. Uh, that's what, is that a test environment? That's, uh, that's a test environment right now. Okay. We have another one running in, in Coil, yeah. the SAP data center. Yeah. That's, that's the beta product, uh, production one. Or if uh, SAP and Amazon come to an agreement and announce something, that, that would be something that would be interesting. Okay, it would, um, I mean, does this, does this solution naturally fit within uh, the notion of running it in the cloud then? Is that what oh, you're absolutely. saying? Oh, absolutely. Right. Okay. Oh, absolutely. And it, for us, uh, it, it would be nice, we're an Amazon company. We run on EC2. So having, having so you're familiar with it. Oh, we are very much so. Yeah. Right, right, okay. This sounds totally different to anything else that I've come across before. All the very best to you, sir. Thanks, Thank you.